What we've seen since the 2008 election is a constant evolution and redefinition of the Republican Party. I had the honor of calling Senator Barack Obama to congratulate him. They're misleading uh, uh, their followers. I think they're uh, pushing our members in places where they don't want to be. One of the most powerful Republicans in Washington has just lost his congressional bid to a Tea Party challenger. I am your voice. Donald Trump's control over the Republican Party in many ways traces back to Barack Obama's historic win in 2008 and the conservative response that followed. But now, with the party's central figure out of the White House, what is the state of the Republican Party and what does it mean for its future? It's a Republican Party that is in many ways struggling to define itself. Much of the party is very loyal to President Trump, but there is also a recognition in many ways that that is no longer the organizing principle. To understand the Make America Great Again agenda, and if it can carry the Republican Party in future elections, you have to examine how the seeds of Trumpism were planted. Of what's been called the worst financial crisis in modern times. So we could be in a deeper downturn than we were just a few months ago. It could be only a matter of weeks before this financial crisis moves from here on Wall Street to Main Street. The economy was in a recession, potentially a depression, and many people were seeing their homes being foreclosed. They didn't know what was going to happen to their bank accounts. Were they going to get laid off? For one of the first things that Obama did was passing a stimulus that only adds to the deficit. The most sweeping economic recovery package in our history. Many of these voters are watching this and saying, why are you helping these companies, these banks that clearly should be punished? Instead, you're giving them money. The Republican Party at the time of uh, Barack Obama's election in 2008 was at a low point. They did not have the presidency. They were in significant minorities in both the House and the Senate. They were groping around trying to figure out how they kind of regroup um, and try to regain uh, the majority, regain power. Our top political priority over the next two years should be to deny President Obama a second term. The Democrats in 2010, they took a terrible beating. The Republicans will take control of the House of Representatives. Just a, a huge loss of seats in the House. United in opposition, the party moved forward with a new strategy and new gains from the midterm elections in 2010. Part of what happened with the Tea Party movement was um, new in a sense, and part of it was uh, quite a long part of the Republican Party's history. So the Republicans gained power both in governorships and in state legislatures. Yeah, now, I, I'm not recommending for every future president that they take a shellacking like, they, like I did last night. Even with these congressional wins, the 2012 presidential election demonstrated that the Republican Party did not have nationwide support to take back the White House. I have just called President Obama to congratulate him on his victory. His supporters and his campaign also deserve congratulations. For a lot of Republicans, the outcome of the 2012 presidential election was a shock. Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan clearly believed on election day that they were going to win the election. This was a moment in which uh, they could look down the field a long way and see demographic trends working against them. So the Republican Party in 2013 had this autopsy to kind of look at what happened? Where did we go wrong? Who do we have to appeal to? A big part of the autopsy was focusing on the idea that Republicans were losing out on the fast-growing Hispanic population in the country. There was a premium put on potentially getting right on some kind of immigration reform, which much of the party had resisted in the past. What's the most important thing you'll get done this year? Uh, I think uh, immigration reform is probably at the top of that list. Signed into law? Uh, I think by the end of the year, we could have a bill. And what we saw as we headed into 2016 was President Trump effectively turned the whole thing on its head. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. Donald Trump's candidacy is a cancer on conservatism. Sort of like the textbook definition of a racist comment. Vote your conscience, vote for candidates up and down the ticket who you trust to defend our freedom and to be faithful to the Constitution. While the campaign is over, our work on this movement is now really just beginning. 